Hello, I'm Ron Clark. Today we're going to be uh, exploring the paths of Gibura. We have four paths today. Uh, actually, one of each kind of path on the tree of life. We have a mother letter. Now, the mother letters always flow from the pillar of mercy over to the pillar of severity at the exact same level of the tree of life. So there's three of them, Shin, Aleph, and Mem. Um, the second is a planetary path. Now the planetary paths are vertical and they go from one level of a Sephirot to the next level of the Sephirotic meaning, basically. Like from Kether to Tiferet. Okay? Um, we then have um, one zodiacal path. The zodiacal paths are all at an angle, and they go uh, from the pillar of um, uh, self, the central pillar, middle pillar, uh, to one of the side pillars, or one of the side pillars to the middle pillar. They flow back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, between the middle pillar and the side pillars. Then we have um, a hidden path. Um, the hidden paths, um, in general, go from middle pillar to side pillar, like the diagonal paths. They're diagonal as well. But they, they skip levels. They go farther than just one level of difference. Um, there are two exceptions to this. Two um, hidden paths share uh, uh, faculties with the diagonal paths, because it's diagonal, but also with the mother letters, in that they go from the pillar, uh, from one of the side pillars to the other side pillar, bypassing the middle pillar. Um, this is a, a path that goes from Chokmah to Chod, and from Bina to Nesach. And they intersect each other um, at a very significant point in the Tree of Life, the Aleph Resh crossing. Okay, we'll come to that later. We encounter it here in uh, our mother letter, Aleph, because we go through that crossing, and it's always significant. Okay, keep that in mind. So, the first path will be the hidden path from Kether to Gebura. Okay? Let's go. Kether. The eye. The all-encompassing eye. Infinite eye. All. down towards Gebura. Ooh, it looks very solid, very defined. And I rain down on Gebura. We have a torrential rain. Oh, a powerful, pounding rain reaching Gebura. Oh, and I wash away all that does not belong in Gebura. Wash away, I cleanse and nourish. And in Gebura, oh, there's so much power here, fed by this rain from Kether. Mm. Oh, I bathe in Kether, Kether brilliance dropping as rain, pounding, cleansing, nourishing rain, coming from Kether. Oh, and I grow strong. I am so powerful. With rain rushing through my veins. Ooh. And I climb up. Oh, climb on the drops of rain. Ah getting brighter and brighter as I rise. Oh, so pure. The eye flowing down to get 
Mira. Back to the eye. Together. It is so calm here in Kether. The eye. Mm -hmm. thing that stands out in that path is how the power, the great strength and Gavura is really fed by the Catholic brilliance. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Our next path is the path of Dalith. Now, Dalith is the door. Um, yeah, it means door. Uh, you think of that as the opening to another place, um, another adventure, another path. Your opening to a different experience. Um, you're also closing it off, having security of being within a closed room. Okay? So, <clears throat> the path of Dalith which corresponds to the planet Mars. Okay? Um, I'd say with thinking about planet Mars, you really have to discard what you're taught to think about Mars. It is very martial, a very military. That's not really Mars. Okay? So, we start in Bina and go down to Gabura. Oh, forms. Oh, a billion, trillion, million, infinite number of forms expressing essential meaning. All oh, these forms. Bina. Mother of forms, so pregnant, so heavy with these forms that must manifest, that must express themselves. Ooh, and I look down to give you a, ooh, and I see one form, the one form of the individual self. Ooh. And I descend ooh, like acid rain, like acid eating away all that does not belong, proving it, making it strong, making it absolutely unique. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, and Gabura, Bina, makes sure that I am me, just me, only me, powerful me, clean, so that I can be the purest me possible. Oh, yes. Bina gives me this gift of absolute honesty, purity, clarity. Oh. It makes my power shine in the universe. Ooh. And I climb back up to Bina. Oh, trace my way to my origins, to the things that make me unique, to my one form. Oh, I rise. I rise to the world of forms. gives birth to this form below. Oh, I am my greater self in Bina. And I bless my lower selves. Oh yes. 
<clears throat> most apparent here is the, the connection with the greater self and how much that determines uh, who we are. Yes, who we are. Okay. Our next path, the zodiacal path, is the path of Virgo, ruled by Mercury. Okay? And it spans the distance between Tiferet and Gebura. so uniquely in Gebura, an infinite number of us in Gebura, so distinctly, so uniquely. very similar to the previous two paths. It's a purifying, um, purifying both of, of Tiferet um, and um, of the individual self in Gibura, the absolutely unique uh, individual self that is different from all other individual selves. Okay, now, our last path, the path of Aleph. Aleph is air. Now, air in Kabbalah is not just the atmosphere. You know, that's sort of an aspect of it. But it's 
for me, it's, uh, I like to think of it as the space between the atoms within a molecule, the space between the planets in a solar system, the space between the solar systems in the universe. So it's the, the between. Um, and what is between um, actually conveys all the energies, all the thoughts, all the feelings that occur between any two individuals. Okay? Um, that is the air. A lot of shit happens in the air. It's not an absence. It is the space between. Okay? <clears throat> so, this one goes from Gedjula to Gebura. It crosses from the pillar of mercy to the pillar of severity. feel my connection, uh, my connection with everything else that exists, all oh, my brothers and sisters and uncles, parents, children, all oh, my relations, I am related to all, connected to all, oh, and I look over to Gebura and I see the string of connections reaching out into infinity till it reaches the edge of infinity and there is Gebura. Oh, I see this whole continuum, this infinite continuum. Oh, little shades of difference that creep in as I pass towards Gebura. Oh, from Gedjula. It feels very calm. Oh, and as I get closer to Gibura, oh, it's more tumultuous. Oh, there's bigger changes. There's bigger changes. Oh, oh, gosh. Oh, and here, Gibura. Oh, it feels everything is so different. Oh, so different from one to the other. I still feel, still feel my connections, but it's so far away to the next. I still am connected, but connections are so far away. I am here, shining my light, expressing my power. Oh. So unique, so separate, oh, yet connected. Oh, oh and I head back to Jew, head back to connection with all things. Oh, I feel the justification for my power. Here in the connectedness. My power makes sense as I connect with others. Oh, oh here I am in Gedjula. Oh, so connected. I see my Gebura self. I am connected to all things. Like your self is connected, even though it is so separate, still connected. And that's where my power shines, to my connections. path, I do experience the Aleph, Rath, Aleph, the Aleph Resh uh, crossing, which is the exact center of the Gra Tree of Life, okay? 
um, several things happen right at that point. There is also the connection between the two hidden paths that cross between one pillar and another. Um, so it's a very powerful point. In a working Aleph in this context, I find that at, at that point, in the passing, it's sort of the halfway point in the passage, I am taking note of sort of where I am, you know, where I've come from, where I'm going, and I, I feel uh, the balance between the two poles. That's something very common in the Aleph Fresh Crossing. So, so uh, that's today's four, four paths. Next is Yesod. Wow, already. Yesod with its five paths. Uh, and that would be very interesting. So, till then, be well.